parts of Chelsea left covered in dust by demolition work from a nearby road project. For weeks, MassDOT crews have been expediting work on the Tobin Bridge, Route 1, uh, the S-curve project is what they're calling it. Yeah, and while the people of Chelsea are happy about the updates, they are not so happy about the side effects. As WBZ's Anna Ritis Rodriguez found out, neighbors say the work is messy and poorly timed. 1.30 in the morning in Chelsea, and Tony Hernandez is doing everything but sleeping. The sounds of jackhammers breaking up concrete along Route 1 is keeping him up, and the silica dust it releases coats cars like snow. There was dust all over the place here, and uh, there's no accountability here. It looks like the city of Chelsea, you can dump anything you want here. Hernandez says he cleans up dust daily and wakes up to work happening at all hours. It shouldn't be no work done here in this area here. So populated after 11 o'clock, period. Construction on the Tobin Bridge and Chelsea Curves has been underway since 2018. Mass DOT says both structures are over 60 years old and in need of significant repair. The roadway carries over 65,000 people each day. I want you to see what the Tobin Bridge looks like underneath in Charlestown, and then you come to Chelsea and you see what our side looks like. Chelsea City Council President Roy Avellaneda says he's concerned about the possible health impacts from the exposure to high levels of dust. He also says with traffic on the Tobin down by almost half, demo work should happen during the day. And all overnight work. There's no reason, given the traffic counts that we have, that they should be doing this sort of work. When they're jackhammering and breaking down all that cement and the asphalt, should be, it should be watering down at all times, not just during an at high wind advisory. Mass DOT says it recognizes the impacts on residents in Chelsea, but in a statement, the agency says in part, some operations must take place at night due to restrictions on daytime lane takings. As far as the dust, they will be bringing in additional wetting equipment and adding weather monitoring to their list of standard working precautions. Amanda Ritis Rodriguez, WBZ News.